Troublemaker Raise Your Gang is a unique fighting game that takes place around an interesting high school campus. I want to also mention this is developed by Gamecom Team and published by Freedom Games. Seeing how this is the developer's first project like this, I will say they definitely did a great job on this. You play as Booty who is a troubled teen and somehow always finds himself in difficult situations that lead to a brawl one way or the other. After getting in too many fights around his old neighborhood, Booty and his family end up moving to another town where he promises his mom that he won't get into any more fights. Little did he know that this new school he's now attending is actually built around fighting. More specifically, they have a huge tournament where each class gets a representative to fight for them. The winner of this tournament becomes top dog and basically runs the whole school. He tries his hardest to stay out of this tournament but some timely events and other fights outside of the tournament lead him to being involved. Most of the time you're getting jumped by student council or fighting other gangs that will lead to fighting multiple opponents at once. This is really no problem seeing how you're the main character in the game and possess special techniques to give you the edge in what seems like an unfair fight. That is if you weren't playing as booty. These special moves are actually really interesting. You can use a metal gear to beat someone over the head with, throw a thousand punches, or even hit someone with a sandal doing a decent amount of damage to your opponent. The overall fighting experience was pretty basic and repetitive after playing about 1-2 to two hours. I was definitely expecting a lot more combos and once I figured out that you could cheese a specific combo to get your opponent on the ground and do some of these weird kicks on them, the game got pretty easy. I was playing on the hardest difficulty and even before that, I felt like the fighting was a cakewalk. There was also times where I found myself with some low HP after fighting a couple of people, but you do have a side menu using the left bumper. You can use it to eat some food or down a quick drink to get your HP back and use power-ups. This also made the game less challenging but overall I still had a nice experience feeling like a badass fighting multiple opponents and not even breaking a sweat. I did have some times where the actions I was using was unresponsive, mostly when trying to counter attack or using a finishing move. There was also some trouble when using special moves in boss fights. It would cut the animation short after landing one hit and do no damage to your opponent. I'm not gonna lie that was definitely a frustrating bug to run into because it happened on multiple occasions in almost every boss fight, which made the fight even longer seeing how they have a ton of HP and I had to win using basic attacks and combos. It really wasn't a deal breaker because I guess it added a little more challenge to the game. Now if there was one thing I enjoyed, it was definitely the story. This game is Indonesian and doesn't have the best translation, but it still had me 100% invested to the end. Not to mention it also got me to learn some new words like my new favorite insult in Indonesian. There was a bit of free roaming in the game once you get to a certain part. This was pretty much just to go around campus and to try out some of the various mini games they have available, which weren't anything crazy but still enjoyable nonetheless. Other than the mini games, there wasn't much to do besides going to your next objective and continuing the story. There definitely could have been more added to the free roam aspect, but then again, this is a fighting game and you don't really need to be able to free roam. I just feel like they could have used free roaming to set up dialogue with your other friends in order to get to know them a bit better. You really don't know much about your friends until you get closer to the end of the story. And even with the brief backstory from your friends, it just didn't feel like they were included enough to really form any emotional ties to their characters. When it comes to the actual gameplay, the visuals aren't on par with the huge AAA game, but that's to be expected when smaller teams work on games. I will say the portrait art for all the characters in this sort of anime style look is definitely peak. The illustrator for those portraits really outdid themselves and I hope they continue making amazing art for future projects. I played the entire game on the highest settings with no frame drops or any rendering issues. Which is really good to see because most of you know even bigger game companies have been releasing their games with a ton of rendering and frame drop issues. Overall, Troublemaker was a very enjoyable experience. The story was amusing and it had some great concepts. Like I said, the fighting does get a little predictable and dull, but this isn't a very long game and with that being said, it doesn't get too stale by the time you finish the story. There's definitely some work that needs to be done to really polish the game with minor bugs you'll most likely encounter during combat. The translation isn't the best at times either but it's still good enough for you to follow along and really get invested into the story. I definitely recommend giving this game a chance if you're ever looking for a decent fighting game. Now if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to smash that like button. If you have anything to say about the game or have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below and most importantly don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification. It'll inform you guys when I drop videos like these so you can be the first ones to see them and with that I'll see you guys in the next one.